Cool, a headmaster. Hey, you think I could swap your heads? Mm-hmm. Let's find out. All right, come here. Here, hold it. Okay, a little to the right. Hey, Binks, looking pretty tough. Thank you. You? Not so much. Kill me. <laughs> Damn. You suck. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another toy review, and today we're taking a look at another Titans Return figure, and it's Hardhead and Furos. So this is one of the original Headmaster figures that came out in G1. I, he was a fan favorite for sure, which is why he's in this line. Personally, me, I prefer Chrome Dome. He was probably, the reason I do is because... He was the first headmaster that I'd got. He was kind of the smart one. Hardhead was kind of the, you know, muscle of the team. So he was a good counterbalance to Chrome Dome. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, definitely kind of interesting to see him in this deluxe format. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Hardhead in the box. Again, much like Blur, very similar style. It says Transformers, it says Generations. We see Hardhead's uh, head blasting off of his body on the artwork in the back. Much cooler than Blur's, and uh, we got him in his little tank mode down here. There he is in robot mode. He comes with a couple weapons. Furos and Hardhead Titans returns, and they changed his little headmaster partner's name. It was originally Duros, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I'm guessing copyright material. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, artwork there. Definitely like that. It says Transformers. There he is. Artwork at the bottom. The side of the package has the same kind of artwork that we will see in the little uh, card that he comes with, I'm sure. So taking a look at the back of the package, very similar to Blur, it says, hey, you can use this on all the different sizes, which I really like. I like the cross-connectivity. Uh, with the different uh, characters, and uh, yeah, we got Loudmouth Blur, Sentinel Prime, and Autobot Blaster listed there. We got a little write-up of uh, Hardhead there. He has a Headmaster, he turns into a tank, and yeah, he drives the tank and all that kind of good stuff. So just kind of a close-up of the bio. If you want to pause and read that, you're more than welcome to. I like the regenerative power. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. So there is that, and here is this, if you have not seen this stuff. So definitely pretty neat. That just about does it for the package. So let's go ahead and get Hardhead out of box and see what we think. And here we have Hardhead out of the package, and for the most part, I like this figure. It's not as good as the Blur figure to me. I, I don't know. I've got reservations on the figure mainly i think for the character itself but the toy itself is pretty nice i do like it there are a couple things i don't particularly care for and i'll go into that here in a minute um he does come with his little trading card which is pretty cool and then of course uh like the other titan returns figures we've uh got the stats on the back which i really do like thank you hasbro now, for the most part, this is a pretty faithful rendition to the G1 character, very much updated, of course, and a lot tinier uh, than the original figure, but that's okay. I don't mind that so much uh, because it is a really well-done, well-sculpted, and well-painted figure. Now, as far as articulation goes on the character, I'm going to take his little gun out of his hand for a second. Um... This thing right here, so <laughs> this big old gun, it looks cool. I do like it, um, but uh, it does not art, uh, hamper articulation, although if he wants to look that way, he's not going to see anything. You can fold that back if you so desire. Um, he's a really good range of motion on his head. It does move up and down. Um, his arms uh, swing all around. He gets some really super wide poses there for... Um, his arms, and that's mainly for transformation. He uh, does not have a swivel at his waist, um, which is due to transformation. His legs go way up far, way back, and they go out really, really far. 
uh, which is pretty cool. And then he's got a little bit of toe articulation. Again, that's for transformation. So ah, it is what it is kind of thing. For comparison, here we have Hardhead next to Blur from the same line, and I've uh, given Blur his little shield uh, from his nose cone. I didn't show that off in his video, but he can use this as a shield. I really just kind of leave it attached to the back for transformation. Um, I don't particularly care for the shield, but if you want to do that, you're more than welcome. It is your toy, after all, right? Um, so, yeah, these guys, I think, scale pretty well together. I like him. He looks a lot beefier, bulkier, uh, more hand-to-hand -hand style, uh, just more armored combat than Blur, which is appropriate. Now, just like all the other figures in this line, whether it be a Deluxe, the Little Legends, the Voyager, or the Leader class, the little heads are interchangeable. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So we're going to take Blur's head off and kind of throw him to the side for a second. And then we're going to take Furos, not Duros, but Furos off uh, like this. Oh no, now they're headless. Um, and just kind of do a quick side by side of these two. Um, yeah, I mean, these guys look pretty decent. Um, pretty cool. I do like his head sculpt. I think that looks really, really nice. Um, let's swap them out. See how they look. Err. Oh, get in there. There we go. And just blur it on there. And then put hard heads on here. Like that. And, uh, yeah. There they are. <laughs> um, blurs kind of gives me... Like a Springer look or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see if I can. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, Blur's head definitely transfers to other bots really, really well. Um, I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. As far as this guy, he goes. Um, yeah, not too bad. Kind of interesting, but I definitely think that uh, Blur's head transfers way cooler onto Hardhead. So taking a closer look at Hardhead, I really do like the head sculpt on this guy. I think it's done really well. I like the big old gun mounted on his shoulder. The green and the yellow paint looks really nice. I like the little Autobot logos on his shoulders. Big bulky shoulders there, definitely digging that. As you can see, the cannon mounts pretty snugly on his back. It's on a hinge, so you can fold it backwards if you so desire. We've got his little canopy for his tank mode back on the uh, back of his back, back of his back. And uh, yeah, overall, I think they did a good job with the paint. The sculpt work looks really nice, and I really do dig the paint apps, especially on his face. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, I like the arms. I like the green on the gun. It really reminds me of the old toy. His uh, waist there looks really nice. The red and the silver paint picks on there with that yellow and the gray and the green, which is super cool. He's got his little green fists. And the forearms are pretty good. They are the tank treads. And uh, they are a little hollow on the inside, but overall not too terribly bad. Um, I can forgive that due to the transformation. And, well, we're just kind of used to it. And then, of course, he's got the big old orange canopy for his tank. And then taking a look at the feet of the figure. Again, it's the tank treads. I do like the little red wheels that uh, kind of break all that gray up down there. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, they are hollow on the inside of them, much like his arms. But, you know, that's kind of to be expected from a Transformer. Uh, but overall, not too terribly bad. They look like big, heavy boots. Now, transformation on this guy is relatively simple. I was actually able to transform this without looking at the instructions. I will say, however, what disappoints me is the lack of clamping into pegs and just anything clamping shut. It all just kind of sits together except for like one component on the legs. Um, other than that, everything just kind of sits into place. There's nothing that locks the character into place, and I'm afraid over time and play use that joints are going to get loose and it's not going to be able to sustain uh, its alternate mode. So um, I don't know. But let's go ahead and take a look at that transformation. <laughs> Alright, 
so here we have Hardhead in his tank mode, and I always forget to flip that little waste piece down. I did that when I first transformed it, second time I transformed it, and I did it again! But that's okay. Now, um, looking at the tank, I, I, I do like it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, here is Little Furos. Um, I can get him to focus there. He looks pretty cool. Little green guy. Um, I don't know why the name change. It's got to be due to some kind of copyright. Not really sure, but eh, it is what it is. Now, he does go into the cockpit, and he can also mount onto this um, weapon thing. So I'm just going to put him in the cockpit first. Uh, just for fun. Duke. All right, so there he is in the cockpit looking kind of cool. And the tank does look cool. It looks very much like uh, the old um, design. It's just a little uh, more updated. And the weapon's not on this side. I wish there was a port maybe up here or something to move this gun over there. But it's part of the play gimmick. He's got like a ton of little wheels right here. And then he's got two little wheels on his treads. And uh, yeah, so he rolls pretty well. I do appreciate that. But uh, again, I don't like how these all just kind of sit into place. The only thing that clamps together in this mode is um, really these two pieces here. And then his legs kind of collapse in on themselves. Um, it's just very unfortunate that uh, nothing clamps together. It's not loose right now, but that's my fear in the future. But again, overall, it looks really cool. I love the little kind of uh, cockpit looking thing up here at the top. Now, um, so the other play gimmick with this, you can take this off, pull this guy out of here. Uh, the tank does have some uh, movement with the barrel. Uh, because this is on just a peg. This can actually come off and become a gun for a bigger figure. Um, it can also rotate up like this and spin around, which is very, very cool. I do like that a lot. Um, but the gimmick, and I'm going to take this off to show you. Uh, so the gimmick is that this piece can fold up and back like that to reveal a little um, seat for this guy to sit in. So much like... Um, Sentinel Prime, uh, his little guy could mount uh, onto the gun and then he can have that gun there so that he is attacking and then uh, this can be mounted uh, onto like one of the leader class bases or uh, one of the bigger figures could hold uh, which is very very cool and then you just plug this back in here and then if you want to he can sit down and he can attack with a big dual cannon thing which I don't know, that's a fun little play gimmick. And it's really, really cool that it crosses all the different classes. That's probably my favorite thing about this toy line. So is Hardhead a figure that you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you're collecting all the Titans Return figures, you're definitely going to need to get this. Um, if you like Hardhead, if you like the character, then you're definitely going to like this guy. Uh, he, there was a Toy World version named Hardbone that had come out not too long ago. Uh, this would be a fun companion piece to sit next to it, I think, and to have it next to the G1 counterpart. I think they did a really good job at updating the G1 figure. Uh, it's a little small for my taste. Uh, this character, while he's not my favorite, I would have rather seen him in a Voyager sized figure. I think that would have been more appropriate for this character, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's well done. It uh, poses well. It's sculpted well. It's painted well. I'm just not a big fan of the character. So if you like this character, sure, pick him up. He's definitely worth it. Uh, if you're a fair weather Transformers fan, this might be an easy one to pass. Uh, he just screams troop building to me, just like insert generic Autobot in the background, which I'm sure I'm getting a lot of hardhead fans screaming in the comments below about that, but it's just the way he is to me. So um, it is a good toy. I do like it. I do recommend pick it up if you like a good toy. So there he is. The Titans Return Hardhead. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.